Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Crim Ham podcast. I'm Crimson. Ooh. And I'm also Ham. He's also Ham. <laughs> <laughs> Not anything else, just Ham. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is our first podcast. So uh, it's going to be a bit, might be a bit rough. It's going to be a bit of a demo, the pilot episode, I suppose it'll be called, something like that. Um yeah, we're just going to start with some general chit chat, I suppose. Um, well, first, I wanted to talk, talk about a dream I had last night, if you don't mind. Oh, yep, dream segment. Uh, I mean, it's not a big dream. It was just a bit freaky. It, there was a giant mech robot thing. It was at one of the schools in Ivy Bridge, but it was also in Plymouth. Um, <laughs> Ivy Bridge is where I live. Um, Plymouth is a place where, well, we're close to. Um, yeah, that's where I live. Yeah, that's where Ham lives in the region of Plymouth. But there was a giant robot ripping up. There was like these sort of like guard towers in the school, and the robot was like picking them up and just using them as weapons. Um, <laughs> I can't remember a lot from the dream. It went on for a long time. It's one of those dreams that went on for a long time, but like I can't really remember anything from it. I just know the main premise of the dream. <laughs> Are you sure that's just not what happened in Ivy Bridge? could have been i think that's what happened last night that's why there's a giant hole in the roof and the school's on fire still <laughs> still yeah from when you were there originally i suppose well, yes of course um so I if you have any, one man. if you had any weird customers this week <laughs> um, <work. laughs> well i have the weird lady that talks to herself as usual of course, if you're um, not aware, Ham has this regular weird lady that comes in every day. Well, she came in with her sister. Sister's not weird at all, but for some reason... <laughs> sister's the normal one. Um, for some reason, the sister was really bossy, and the lady who talks herself seemed really upset about that. Uh, but that wasn't the weird bit. I just thought that was a new development on the story that none of, none of you know. Um <laughs> But the weird, this guy comes in towards closing. He comes in quite often towards closing, buys like fifty pounds worth of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And he leaves. And I'm not serving him, but my boss is. I'm just standing behind the tail waiting for him to leave so we can close. <laughs> and the guy looks up, looks, looks over to me, goes, "Hey, Carl, guess what?" Reaches in his pocket and pulls out this giant tooth. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like. Okay. He's like, Guess it's what? mine. <laughs> it's giant tooth. <laughs> oh, yeah. He goes, yeah, it's mine. Like, it's a wisdom tooth. It was killing me, so I ripped it out. <laughs> okay. It in his I painted it. He's like, I painted it gold. It didn't look gold. It looked like he just painted it brown, and that was it. Um, <laughs> I was like, okay. Then he described uh... to me how he ripped it out. Um, should I say how he ripped it out, or should I just... Use the tools. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'll just say it. what he used. He said he used a pin and a pair of oh. pliers. A pin. Um, a pin and a pair of pliers, because apparently you need to make a gap between the teeth and gum. And then oh, he. Oh God. And then, yeah, and then he was like, "See, so if you ever need your teeth ripped out, you know who to call." And he left, mm. just walked out the door. I was like, um, "What I went the to the hell?" Hospital, and my boss was like, "Yeah, normal conversation." Don't you think that's a bit odd? No, not really. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Probably used to being there by now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Get some it's not, the first, it's not the first weird thing you said to me before, but because one time, do you all have headpieces on to talk to colleagues across the room or in different rooms? Yeah. And one of them said something to me, and I was like, yeah, we don't need any of that, because he was checking if we needed more vodka. And he went, you remind me of a young me, you know. I had a headpiece in, on a job once. It's like, oh, is that all oh, that reminds, reminds is that you it? of me? <laughs> so relatable. Yep. You've got a headpiece on. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> and, yeah. Um, he also said when he worked out, he was super scared his daughter because he woke up covered in blood, even though I'm sure the blood would have happened <laughs> oh. straight away, not when you're asleep. <laughs> and apparently his daughter was scared of that, um, well, which he was surprised scary, about. Yeah. <laughs> Why was my daughter so scared of me covered in blood? I mean, honestly. <laughs> Millennials. Yeah. Um, so I walked home thinking about that uh, at like 10 oh, o'clock. Gorgeous. <laughs> you really do get some funny characters there. Yeah, I should start making a sitcom. You really should. You really should. I don't know what I'll call it. Oh, uh, the co-op antics. 
know, <laughs> I think something it's, like that. I think it's already been copied by the word corp as a brand. Uh, <laughs> um, team play. There, that's team corp, play. isn't it? Yeah, yeah I don't sure. know. Split screen <laughs> antics. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sounds too video gamey now. I uh, thought I'd interrupt <laughs> you there with a random fact. One of the three that I found. Oh, it's okay, I've finished. <laughs> to bring on. Uh, yeah, I'll interrupt <laughs> you at the end of your conversation. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> this is fact number 54 on a random website called Best Life. <clears throat> it says, dolphins have been trained to be used in wars, apparently. Uh, dolphins are known widely as adorable, intelligent animals. What is not widely known is these crafty creatures were used by the US and Soviet Union during the Vietnam War and the Cold War. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, what both did... countries studied the creature for their sonar capabilities. Uh, oh, but also, sense. yeah, yeah, also train them to detect mines, bringing equipment to divers, find lost equipment, and guard submarines amongst other nifty tricks, apparently. Guard um, submarines, surely you <laughs> can't really be submarines. helpful. No. If someone comes in with a bazooka, with a, let's say like a gun to destroy a submarine, I'm pretty sure it'll be big enough for the submarine to notice before they would even need a dolphin <laughs> or one no. of those. I guess they just <laughs> survey a really large area, but oh, I don't know. It's interesting that they use their sonar capabilities to uh, somehow train them to work for them. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> so when comes to attack them, the dolphins will so help us. Of course they, they will. Just, <laughs> they will just swim um, around in the water. That was random fact number one. I don't know whether to do number two and three now as one segment, um, or just do it to break apart this, you know, podcast break it apart. a bit. Okay, all right. Well, that was fact number one. We can move on to number two later. <laughs> They're all very random and have nothing to do with each other, but... Well, that's usually uh, the best fact. Let's go. Let's go and look up some gaming news from the latest gaming news. Um, oh, there was a story well, I earlier I saw. I think it was something about the head of Blizzard. Yeah, I saw that that today. For some time off. Uh, yeah. Not to be related to any of the things that's going on in Blizzard. Blizzard, of course. Of course not. It's <laughs> unrelated. He just wanted some time <laughs> no. off. Now, if no one's heard, basically Activision and Blizzard, mainly the Blizzard side of things, I think are in Activision trouble. Blizzard, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Activision, Blizzard, um, some sort of, you know, sexual, well, not really sexual assault, is it? It's not assault, it's like they're just... Um, there's probably like one or two cases of that, I guess, but it's mostly just groping, which is still like... Yeah, assault in not, some way. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, no one likes to be touched, so um, <laughs> no. that's uh, a fun fact of the day. No one likes to be touched. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> see, we're breaking it apart. Of course. Um, of course. There was that, and I think it was like, what was the other one? It, yeah, it was like drink people coming in drunk or drinking on the job like all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and sometimes, like, just giving all of the load to the female staff members, which, I mean, hopefully they got paid for that, but still not good. Uh, I don't know. I know Sledgehammer are getting a lot of, like, abuse from it. For Vanguard, you know, they're just getting the tail end of it all. <laughs> Even <laughs> though they're have Sledgehammer had... games. I know they're under, you know, Activision yeah. or whatever. But... I've had mixed yeah. things from Vanguard at the moment. Some people say it's nothing special. Some people say yeah. it's just borderline unplayable. Some people say it's like the best COD. Yeah, um, even though it's not out. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are just like, they're like, oh, the bait has already been hacked. Um, <laughs> you know, they're saying, yeah, like you said, it's nothing special. Apparently, it's just Call of Duty, you know, again. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I'm excited for it. I don't really care. I, I mean, people say it's Call of Duty again. I would say of the, it's a bit of a weird thing to say because. It's yes. a franchise you know you're going to get if you buy it. Like, yeah. You're not going to buy Call of Duty and go, oh my god, this plays exactly like Mario Kart. What yeah, are the like odds? Maybe if it was called something else, you'd be like, oh god, it's just Call of Duty, but it's called Call yeah. of Duty. It's like those <laughs> and you James know what Bond you're going to buy. It's like those James Bond games that came out in the 2010s or something that played exactly like Call of Duty. No one, everyone was like, we don't like it. Mm, mm. Anyway... <laughs> 
I'm going to go into random fact number two here, moving on swiftly. Um, okay, this is also from the same website, but I forgot what the title of it said, uh, but I just know Classic. it's about kidney stones. <laughs> okay. Um, apparently riding roller coasters can remove your kidney stones, specifically yeah, one called um, Thunder Mountain. I don't know where this is. But it says, Disneyland, after multiple probably. people reported they had passed a kidney stone while riding Walt Disney's Atya Big Thunder Mountain Railroad ride. Uh, <laughs> so they decided yes. to investigate this in 2016. They conducted tests with a model kidney, <laughs> a model kidney, and found that there was a 64% kidney stone pass rate for those seated in the rear, in, only in the rear end of the ride. And only 16% in the front. Okay, so if you've got kidney stones, go to Disneyland or Disney World. Go on the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad ride on the back end to remove your kidney stones. I, yeah, I heard about that. I think it would be pretty funny, though, just going up to like, <laughs> Thunder Mountain. Can we use your ride? I've, What's that <laughs> in your pocket? Um, kidneys. <laughs> Fake kidneys. kidneys, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, model kidneys. <laughs> They're really model. <laughs> They've got little stones in them. And they go to ask their manager, um, this guy's wanting to put kidneys on a roller coaster. That is for science. <laughs> All in the name of science, <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, cool. uh, just talking about this, if anyone wants to email in any questions or funny stories or weird facts that you might know or anything for the podcast for us to read <laughs> next time um you can email us at crimhampodcast at gmail.com also um, another yeah facts about kidney stones they're worse than childbirth apparently oh yeah i knew my friend's mum had one and you know they're the worst things and they're even wor- they're even horrible for men i think you know because you have to yeah. uh, pass them through the penis. <laughs> Just go on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh god! Just sat at the back in pain, <laughs> trying to pass a kidney stone at the back. But surely it was still hot on the roller coaster. It would just oh, happen yeah. faster. It would happen faster, but you'd be like, "Oh god!" <laughs> People panicking oh, next god, to you, I'm like, having fun. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> and then. What's wrong with you? They just reached down. That's a stone in my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's a pebble. Uh, <laughs> anyway, a I pe- thought we could uh, move on to a Doctor Who quiz that I had lined up. Not one that I've made. It's on. Buzzfeed, I also have Doctor I Who news. Ah, we can. Ah, lovely. Right. I okay. don't know if it's any news you've got. No, I haven't got any Doctor Who news lined I've up. I got a bit. Uh, do you want to do the quiz first or the news? We'll do the quiz, and then okay. we'll do the news. This is a ninth Doctor mm-hmm. quiz. Um, nice. Yeah, on BuzzFeed. <laughs> right. Not so nice. So I'll, I'll ask you the question. I ran through it myself earlier, and I got 100%. And I think there's 10 questions in, in total. Um, so I can give you the question, and it's got the four answers for you to choose from. Okay, so this is question number one. A. One A, yes. <laughs> There's yeah. ten questions, but they've all got A, B, and C. <laughs> um, where did the ninth Doctor first meet Rose? Was it in her flat? Was it on Powell Estate? Was it at Hendrix Department Store? Or was it on the London Eye? Hendrix Department Store. Okay. Um, the ninth Doctor... No, sorry. Number two. <laughs> the ninth Doctor's gift... Uh, to the forest of Cheem was, the, those are the tree people, some bananas. Lungs from his hair. <laughs> Lungs from his hair. Air <laughs> from his hair. Yes, okay. I mean, yeah, I'll choose that one. Uh, <laughs> Lungs from the air around him. <laughs> I spoke before the words even made sense. Okay, the Night Doctor was the first incarnation to use what? Okay, the TARDIS translation circuit, the cu- uh, the chameleon arc, the sonic screwdriver, or psychic paper? I'm going to say psychic paper. Okay. The Ninth Doctor found the head of what old enemy in Van Staten's alien collection? Was it the head of an Auton, 
an Ice Warrior, a Suntaran, or a Cyberman? His own head, no, a Cyberman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plastic head. <laughs> um, that's an advert there. Um, <coughs> sorry. In which episode did the Ninth Doctor get to declare, Everybody lives! Was it the long game, Boomtown, World War 3, or the Doctor Dances? Doctor Dances. He starts doing the dance. Okay, this one's from the first episode, but you don't actually see it happening. It's just spoken to when he's when Rose is talking to um the uh, Clive, you know, the weird super fan of the Doctor. Um, yep. Which historical Spruce event Spruce. was the Ninth Doctor not known to witness? So he didn't witness this event. Was it the Titanic, the eruption of Krakatoa, JFK's assassination, or VE Day? Which one did he not witness? The I'm going to say VE Day. Okay. Question number seven. The Doctor's final foes, the Ninth Doctor's final foes, were an army of Daleks led by who? Davros, the Dalek Supreme, the Cult of Scaro, or the Dalek Emperor? I thought it was me, but I guess it was the Dalek Emperor. Me. <laughs> me. Apart from the Daleks, what other monster did the Ninth Doctor face twice? Was it the Jagrafess? Was it the Autons, the Gelf, or the Slitheen? Slitheen. Margaret! <laughs> well, they call something else, but the same name of the family, but I can't uh, pronounce the actual name. Oh, god, yeah, I don't know, I can't remember that. <laughs> um, the regeneration that birthed, that birthed the Ninth Doctor was finally revealed in what special episode? Was it the, na the name of the Doctor, the Night of the Doctor, the Day of the Doctor, or the Time of the Doctor? So that's previous Doctor 2-9? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, day of the Doctor. Final question, I think. Uh, which companion did the Doctor, the Ninth Doctor kick out the TARDIS after one trip? Was it Adam? Mickey, K9, or Jack? Adam. Oh, no, this is the last question, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where did the Ninth Doctor say he was going to take Rose before he regenerated? Back home, the Lost Moon of Poosh, to meet Ad Agatha Christie, or the planet Barcelona? Planet Barcelona, because they have dogs with no noses. <laughs> okay, no, this is the last one I remember now. <laughs> Cotic. The Ninth Doctor never visited an alien world on screen, true or false? An alien world on screen. Yeah, uh, so did see, he... First, second... True. He didn't. So, so you're saying he never did, yeah. He never 100%! Did, yeah. You scored 100% on the ninth Doctor Doctor Who quiz. <laughs> nice. <laughs> see, Lovely. I know that. I know everything there is to know about Doctor Who. Don't quote me on that. wonder why. <laughs> We don't really know the length of these podcasts. We're, I've done a timer for half an hour, just so we know we've covered, you know, half an hour of a podcast so for a decent your, amount. So your stopwatch app on your phone, I'm assuming, right? Yes. Only tells you the time left, not the time that's passed. Well, I can do a stopwatch or I can do a timer, and I chose to do a timer just so I know. Ah, okay. Just so it will tell me, yeah, you've hit 30 minutes, you can, you know end it piss soon off. or whenever piss off you're done <laughs> uh what was your doctor who news well but the new me companion too. let me actually look at his name up we will cut this out probably of course um, john bishop there we go ah yeah, yes. so um john bishop has finished filming his scenes ah um bradley walsh was spotted on jodie whittaker's last episode meaning they <gasps> must have filmed his well, well his last oh. episode assumingly and her last episode, episode. okay you might have didn't filmed it before the others, to be fair. Maybe. Maybe. Just filmed his scene and then... Yeah. They were like, we'll put that well, in later, continuity yeah. or not. <laughs> so they apparently done the last episode already. Meaning well. they've probably got someone lined up unless they're not going to do it. Because they did... Because when Peter left, they filmed his scenes and then they did Jodie Whittaker's after a couple of days or weeks after, I believe. Yeah. Straight away do it. Yeah. Um, you, although I think... David Tennant to Matt Smith, it was straight after, as soon as one let finish, the other came in. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> swapped so, through, swapped, <laughs> you know, doctors. I'm not sure how it's going doing this one, but yeah, they've mm. it's been some set photos of Bradley Walsh talking to John Bishop, and ah. 13th Doctor looking out of the TARDIS, because... Why not? I guess it's the only photos <laughs> he ever seemed to take on set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just her looking out the TARDIS, baffled by everything, even the script. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Can't we all? I'm going to look at some Justice League news now. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, uh, in America anyway, I don't know if this relates to everywhere, is dominating sales with DVD and Blu-ray sales. But obviously Warner Brothers are still a bit, you know, they're like, oh, you know, we don't really want to... They hate money. (laughs) We don't want to promote this. They actually had (laughs) a trailer lined up for the release of the Blu-ray in oh, America. Oh, yeah, I've had a and, um, Yeah, they unlisted. left it as unlisted on their YouTube channel. So, <laughs> you know, you can only watch it if you have a link. So they obviously don't really want people to see it and they don't want to promote the sales because they don't want it f- to be a success. I think there was a fake excuse they gave, which was this is just a trailer that they use to, like, they send out to companies. Yes. So the companies can take it and then, then they play it on their systems on the TVs that say in a store. That's just a stupid reason because they could still... Because <laughs> it's not shot as one of those types of small snippet things. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's a mess. That's a mess. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, um, Daniel Craig oh. was asked a question the other day about a female playing James Bond. Um... Uh, yeah, so an interview interview asked him, and basically he's not really on board with the idea. But it's not because, you know, he's like, oh no, women shouldn't play the role. He says, uh, there should simply be better parts for women and actors of colour. Why should a woman play James Bond uh, when there should be a part just as good as James Bond, but just for women? If you get yeah, you know, I see that. You know, what he's saying. Yeah, see, I sort of feel like that with Doctor Who in a way as well. It's sort of like, I'm not, you know, I don't care, but, <laughs> you know, it's sort of I like... I think it makes more sense in more in Doctor Who than James Bond. Oh, yeah, James they can Bond justify is, a bit more. Is, well, it's, it wouldn't really suit. Yeah, what would they call female. it? Female. Um, I mean, I mean, for 007, know. I don't mind, because 007, 007 is yeah. the rank in the universe, not the character itself. So. Yeah, because uh, I remember there was some mix-up with that um, ages ago when they announced a female 007. People were saying that they've, for some reason, gone woke or, like, mm. pushing female characters and everything. It was like, no, nah, that was just the job title of the character, not yeah, yeah, the actual it's, character. It's not, yeah, James Bond could still be James Bond, but he doesn't have to yeah. be 007. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, I get what he's saying. He's saying, like, you know, women can have their own good characters in separate films, you know, and make them iconic you know yeah instead of i get what he's trying to say you know i don't want to go too much into woke culture or politics <laughs> but yeah, yeah yeah i get you, what he's trying to say d- yeah definitely. yeah just make good characters for yeah just, just everyone yeah. give them their own characters it's the same with yeah. uh you know parts of the caribbean they want to reboot it with karen gillen instead of uh johnny depp um karen gillen's think, good yeah. though Oh yeah, she's good. She's been I a think, pirate to be fair, it would work for <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean because that started off as a roller coaster, not a franchise, if that makes sense. So they could yeah, easily just say... Yeah, I think that's say... the only thing that's like, that was actually based on a ride, not the ride based off the film. <laughs> I know they tried to do other ride movies, Disney did, but none of them really took off other than Pirates of the Caribbean. That, so, new jun- that Jungle Cruise film. Oh yeah. That sounds like it would be a ride. Oh, there's a film based off a ride I saw ages ago. It's made a film by Eddie Murphy. Gotta look it up. <laughs> I remember hating but liking this film. Cruise. Oh, it's Race and M, never mind. Uh, hmm? Based on the ride. A... Yeah, I typed in his Jungle Cruise and it said racist. <laughs> okay. The late is based. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Jungle Cruise is based off a ride. But I thought that much. It just sounds like a ride anyway. <laughs> Jungle Cruise. The Haunted Mansion. That was it. It's a film uh, I yeah. watched. Um, <laughs> have you seen it? No, 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 but it just sounds uh, yeah. like a, you know, of course it's based off yeah. a variety of things. It's a film I watched ages ago. Um, it's only got a 5.1 IMDb, but I think it's oddly worth a watch, even though it's not that great. It's still, like, entertaining and... Yeah, films don't have to be some good cool to be entertaining, ideas. you know. Yeah. Well, there's a scene with spiders in it that I can't stand, so... <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Uh, yep. <laughs> how's the spider doing in your room? Well, Any I've got update? the board, wardrobe open. Hmm. No spider at the moment, but I've got a fly swatter and a, s- a spray. Have you tried uh, putting a fridge next to it? Might that work? No, that only maybe? works with dancing bees. With boots. <laughs> with shoes. <laughs> with shoes. <laughs> uh, the context, uh, the ham had a dream. 
that there was a giant bee on the wall uh, with shoes. <laughs> so his parents said, as an idea to put a fridge next to it to, you know, help happy. with the problem, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, uh, well, we, we, we were in, um, me and Ham were in Spoons, Weather Spoons the other day, which is like a food chain here in the UK. I don't know if it's anywhere <laughs> else, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's around the world or anything. <laughs> Well, they have weather and spoons, but not weather spoons properly. Yeah, maybe not combined. Anyway, yeah, weather spoons. And we, uh, well, we finished our food about half an hour before we left. The main reason we didn't leave is because we put googly eyes on a glass and we were waiting for someone to take it uh, so we could see their reaction. In the no end, reaction. it was a bit, uh, yeah, there's no reaction. You know, it was yeah. a bit upsetting, a bit underwhelming. The guy didn't even look at the glass, I don't think. He was just, I think he may have seen them and thought, oh God, I better not make eye contact with the, uh, the glass. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, it had piercing it eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah I've, got my, I've got my third final fact here for the podcast. It's also animal related, <laughs> like the dolphin one at the start. So I guess it is sort of related to that. Um, so this mm-hmm. is fact number 76 on bestlifeonline.com. Um, Chinese police use geese squads. Um <laughs> Okay, so it's, you've heard of police dogs, but police geese. As of 2013, 12 police stations in a rural area of China have begun to use geese as sentries. <laughs> uh, they are alert animals, and as you probably know, can create a lot of noise and commotion, which, cre- um, which creative Chinese law enforcement officers are taking advantage of. While this trend has yet to spread throughout China, um, <laughs> Dongwan police claim that the geese have already stopped at least one theft. <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> this, this so was in 2013, have... so I don't know if this ever, this ever took off. <laughs> they don't have fights, but they have geese squads. Nice. They have geese squads, and it stopped at least <laughs> one theft. That was of 2013. Uh, I know. I know. In Japan, they have paintball guns in police cars, so when they're in a chase, they can shoot the other car with paintball so if they try to let's say if they get away all they have to do is find the car with like paint stains on them because it's hard to wash out true it's i guess designed it's like, to, like a uh, stick to the car it's a um low budget like tracker just use yeah. paintballs <laughs> to find the I car i think it's a cool idea a good idea yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it works it works let's get a car and paintball people indeed well, um, that's all my points. That's, all, that's <laughs> everything I had to uh, written down to cover in this podcast. But uh, obviously, we've got uh, two minutes left on the timer before we hit half an hour. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed listening to this mm-hmm. podcast so far. Um, might end it soon. You know, do a little outro. Put on yeah, it's music. been fun for a attempt. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. It's been yeah. Uh, definitely have to awful. keep trying to get points, and it has been awful, of course. Uh, yeah. I didn't agree to this. He just no. It was it. it was a one-sided arrangement, and that was it. <laughs> no agreement. Like no contract signed. Yeah, life does something, and you don't agree to it, so you just have to go along. <laughs> uh, yeah. If, 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 again, you can email us at <laughs> crimham podcast at gmail dot com if you want to t- uh, send in any stories, any questions for next time. Uh, we'll try and put one of these out weekly if we can. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, I haven't got much more to add. So I haven't got much more to add. We didn't have much to add. No, no. Um, that's it. That's it. Really. Give. That's the. <laughs> I guess uh, <laughs> that's the end of the podcast. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. And um, I guess we'll cue the outro music. See you all later. See you all later. Stay, have, have a good stay hammy. Stay hammy. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Um, what else do they do? Yeah, hopefully this will be out on Spotify as well as YouTube. Um, hopefully there's no issues with uploading it to Spotify. They probably have to review it first. Could take a couple of days, but it should be up on here. If you're listening mm-hmm. to it now on Spotify, then I guess it worked. Well done. I'm currently listening to it on Spotify. Right now, as yeah. we're making it. As we're making it. I'm sitting on top of Spotify. <laughs>